Hello everybody. I we have an unboxing today. So I opened the box. I cut open the box just to save us time. And it was only one item in the box. It was on Amazon. I will hopefully put the price somewhere around here for you. 5D shiny diamond painting makes your life more enjoyable. We know that. That's why we diamond paint. <clears throat> So right now we have a green tray and it looks to not be bent, which I like because I'm a confetti person. There are, this is the painting. by 40 we don't know we'll have to measure it there are 22 colors in this my idea of this painting I'll fill you out but right now we have our kit which means that because we have this let me see what else we have So I can't tell you, but it looks like we ended up getting two of these, which is nice. Inside the kit, you have two uh, of, of these placers with multi-placers on the back. This is the first time I've ever received stickers, so this is a big deal for me. And it's enough stickers so that I can put that when I kit up. And here are all of the plastic bags. This time, last time I used plastic bags and I liked it better than the other way, so I'm probably going to kit up using those plastic bags. We have, um, and these will end up going on there. That's very, very cool. And we have three. Oh, so far what I'm realizing is, is I don't use as much, so this will be very nice to have. I like having enough. And then here are all the colors. Very nice. Now my idea with this painting is my concept was I was going to do all of the um, <clears throat> the sunflowers and the green and then I might do the background differently. But we'll make a decision about that. So the colors are in in number order, which is very nice. 21 with all the numbers. It starts off with one, and one is probably black. And then here, the top, you have a picture, you have what the item will look like, the number of the diamond paint, and then these are color numbers on this side. <clears throat> there. 
<clears throat> that is better. I might just take the time to kit up this morning. So you have that. dirtier color which is probably around there. Brown, green, beige, probably more in there. I bet you that's that color. And then I wouldn't have expected that color. I had that color in um, my giraffe and in some other paintings, and that's going to be there. So if we look at 22, and we say P, I don't know how well you can see this, but you can see P here. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna just quickly come down here. I think the things that we really care about is how clear are the symbols, the W, the V, H, how many of these are close to each other, like that dark, the black on the green, how close is that to another black on green? Is there an O with a C that is close to each other, not at all? The D and the O might be close to each other, so we'll have to see. Here's a D and there's an O, and I'm not seeing a difficulty with that at all. The last painting I did had white as the I, and that's consistent, as well as the J, that's consistent. In fact, the U and the V are exactly the same symbols as what I had in the animal jungle that is no longer able to get. What I particularly like is that you have the key and the legend table is what they call it up at the top right and you have it at the bottom right. This is a painting that when I kit it up I will likely add a column I will likely, there aren't as many colors, so I wonder if I will instead make one column and then separate it out where I have a block, a block, blocks on it instead. Oh, this is so pretty. I did this because I thought in the mornings it would be really nice to be able to do a painting that had a bunch of yellows. So here's the unboxing of a bunch of sunflowers made in China. This is called a bunch of sunflowers. Can't wait to get started. 